material world is the domain of Venus. After you go from Venus, you get to Earth. Earth is the playing field. That's where we live. So after the soul has developed attachment to Maya, then extends, it develops some, that's the moon, then extends some intelligence, that's Mercury, gets herself some senses, that's Venus, now she's on Earth. What's the first thing that you got to do when you get to Earth? You got to work hard. That's the first thing I found out when I grew up. Oh no, <laughs> I need to work. This is lame. <laughs> I dislike working at things that I don't like, but I can work very hard at things that I do enjoy. But um, so as soon as you get to Earth, here you are. Hey, I have a mind, I have an intelligence, I have senses, I'm ready to party. What's the first thing to do? I gotta organize this party. I have to work. So what's the first thing that the living entity needs once it gets to Earth? Mars. Kuja. Passion. Energy. Mars is all the living entity's energy. And what can, what can you learn about the human nature of energy from Mars? Do you know what else Mars is concerned with? Um, Fighting. Fighting. War. Violence. Aggression. Aggression. Competitiveness. See, this is our, our energy. If our energy is not well guided, it becomes frustrated so easily. And what happens when you're frustrated? Aggression. You always get angry and you get aggressive. And also what happens when it's not controlled enough, you have too much ambition, too much energy, you want to take everything over. So this is the, the human nature. When you see people that like a lot of politicians have two very, very strong Mars and they want to take over things. They want to take over land. They want to accumulate <coughs> land. That's also why Mars is connected with property because he's the spoils of war. So Mars needs a good guide. Who is the next planet after Mars? Jupiter. Jupiter in Sanskrit main name is? Guru. Does anybody know what a guru is? The guru is the spiritual teacher. Both Venus and Jupiter are guru. But Jupiter is, ad, is he's, ad, he's uh, Daiti guru. Okay, so, but anyway, let's not go too far. We need to end up. In other words, we all have energy and we all have passion. But if we don't get good guidance in our life, our energy becomes frustrated and we become angry and we become self-destructive. So, Jupiter's function is to give good guidance to the masses of people so that they can live prosperously and have their energy be productive and fruitful. That's what religion is for. The word religion the, the, the thing, religion, in human society, it's not really terribly spiritual, but its function is to kind of organize human beings so that they don't kill each other. And it usually doesn't work. <laughs> because they kill each other with Allahu Akbar and other Christian wars and whatnot. But really, the intention of, human, of religion, Jupiter represents religion, the intention of religion is to give human beings a system by which their energy can coexist and be well guided and gradually go upwards towards becoming spiritual again. Now that's very nice. Religion is a good thing most of the time. But Saturn has to come into the picture somewhere. And so Saturn comes at the end of the rope. Saturn is called Shunny. Just like we have the word shun. Oh, he was shunned comes from this term shunny. Shunny is shunned. No one likes shunny. No one likes Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I like it. Oh, I like Saturn too. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> but we don't count. We don't count. Most people, they don't like Saturn because Saturn is the end of the line. Saturn says, oh, this no, Jupiter, he's, very, he's real nice. He's so optimistic. He wants to teach everybody how to use their positive energies and be religious and, and live harmoniously, blah, 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 blah. Saturn thinks like that. No, there's no time for all this stuff, Saturn says. Saturn says, I need to remind these people that they're going to die. I need to remind these people that time is ticking and that they're just sitting here looking at catalogs <laughs> while their life is running out. They're sitting there flipping around the Internet when they could be 
meditating on Hare Krishna once in a while. They're, they're not doing anything positive. They're just wasting their time. And Jupiter is trying to encourage them how to waste their time in a sort of productive way. Saturn doesn't like Jupiter. He says, this is no, no time for all this niceness. I am grief. And Krish, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, close me, look up, chayakritama. I am time, and I'm going to grind everything into ashes. That's Krishna speaking as, with, the, with the voice of his deputy, Saturn. Saturn says, you know what, I'm going to take everything in this world and grind it to little bits. Why? Because I really want you to wake up. Saturn is the son of the sun. The sun had a, a child with a wife who was not truly his wife, but he thought was his wife. The mythology is awesome. And there's also great stories of the moon being born, of Mercury being born from the moon and Jupiter's wife. There's awesome stories. No time for it. But uh, Saturn is the son of the sun. What is the sun's job? His job for me is to redeem me. In Vedic culture, the son redeems the father. So Saturn's business is to redeem the soul from all this Maya and to remind him that your time is running out and you're just doing nonsense material things. You should be spiritual. So there's a little controversy I could touch on three seconds. The guru of Hare Krishna movement, he said he was born at four o'clock on a certain day in Calcutta, which means that he's a Capricorn. Ascending Capricorn ruled by Saturn. But some people like to say, it can't be. How could he be a Capricorn Saturn? He must be Guru. He must be Jupiter, Sagittarius. But to my way of thinking, our Guru, Prabhupada, he was very Saturn. He did not sit around and say, most of the time, he didn't really sit around and say, yeah, go to the temple, light a Giwik, and, and pray. He didn't even put Navagraha deities in his temples. He didn't put all this materialistic religion stuff in his temples. He said, there's no time for this. Chant Hare Krishna. That's a very Saturn trait. Saturn's trait is let's get to the bottom of this. You guys need to become spiritual. Don't fool around. Time is running out. And that was, is really the spirit of this movement in, in some ways, I feel. So uh, hopefully I haven't said anything too obnoxious or offensive to anybody. If I did, I apologize. My son is running out of breath. <laughs>